kickoff between the St. John's Prep Eagles and rival Catholic Memorial Knights with top ranking in the state in the balance. And we are underway from Glassfield. Here. The Eagles strike first as senior quarterback Matt Crowley connects with sophomore Jackson Delaney to give Prep fans something to cheer about. In for the touchdown! But not for long as the Knights respond with a one-handed interception leading to this game-tying score. Then breaking off a run that shows why Catholic Memorial is ranked top in the state. Gets a huge rush. The Eagles show some fight, hitting a familiar target, Matt Dushman, but get an unfamiliar result the ball gets loose. as a fumble leads to a stunning 21-7 deficit going into halftime. For the first time this season, this St. John squad shows some cracks against a CM team that leaves no room for error. A storybook comeback seems unlikely, but to be fair, this field is no stranger to miracles. In 2017, this St. John's prep legend rolled onto this field as an honorary captain because of his outstanding work battling ALS. This is Pete Frades. If you don't know his name, you absolutely know his legacy. There's a reason people responded and it's because of Pete Frades. Julie Frades was Pete's wife until his death in 2019. We caught up with her, his mother Nancy, and the Frades family on a baseball diamond near where Pete played as a student at St. John's Prep. When he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, in 2012, little was known about the debilitating disease. Also, flying well under the radar was an internet fundraiser based on pouring water over your head. The Ask Bike Challenge had been on the internet for eight months for all different kinds of diseases. When Pete Frades caught wind of the challenge, he saw it as an opportunity, leveraging his extensive network of friends made over the years of playing baseball at Boston College and right here at St. John's Prep. We went after them and basically said, can you do this for Pete? And they did, and that's how it exploded. Now, a quarter of a billion dollars later, Pete's work is bearing fruit in the form of new research, new drugs, and hope for families with ALS. We don't want to see another family go through this. St. John's Prep honored Pete Frady's legacy of service with this field, which bears his name. We're extremely grateful to the school for acknowledging Pete and everything that he's done for this world. On the other side of campus, the Eagles return to the field and with Pete's family among the spectators, immediately show there's no quit in this team. It's a heavyweight battle with every big prep play matched by Catholic Memorial. CM does it again. Until the moment of truth, down eight and with just minutes to play, QB Matt Crowley loses a bad snap. Game over. Or is it? Now we're new. A near impossible recovery puts the prep one two point conversion away from a tie game. And the pass goes incomplete. Catholic Memorial holds on to hand St. John's prep their first loss of the season. I'm proud of how we battle back as a team. Really proud of that. So we'll be fine. 113. St. John's Prep went on to win the next five games, earning a return trip to Gillette Stadium to face Catholic Memorial, with a chance at redemption and a second consecutive state championship. This St. John's Prep team is playing together for the last time, but win or lose, sophomore James Guy has big plans for the future. At least two more championships. Now he's officially halfway there. And yes, folks, they did win. That Super Bowl championship was hard fought for St. John's. Final score, 21-14 at Gillette Stadium. It was the last game for the seniors we met last fall when we spent time with the team. So we wish them all well as they move on, whether they are playing football or not. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shayna Seymour. Make sure you stay safe and healthy and hang in there. Good night.